द हार्ट ऑफ द ट्री बाय हेनरी कायलर बनर वॉट डज ही प्लांट हु प्लांट्स अ ट्री ही प्लांट्स अ फ्रेंड ऑफ सन एंड स्काई ही प्लांट्स द फ्लैग ऑफ ब्रीज ट्री द शैफ्ट ऑफ ब्यूटी टावरिंग हाई ही प्लांट्स अ होम टू हैव एन अनाई फॉर सॉन्ग एंड मदर क्रून हव बर्ड इन हर्ज एन हैप्पी ट्वेलाइट हर्ड द ट्रेबल ऑफ हेवन हार्मनी दीज थिंग्स ही प्लांट हु प्लांट्स अ ट्री In the opening stanza the poet poses a general question to the readers according to him planting a tree means more than what we mean by plantation as an activity then the poet goes on explaining the question what does he plant who plants a tree according to him the one who plants a tree plants a friend of sun and sky the tree is suggested as a friend of sun and sky because one day it will grow tall and appear to reach the sky the tree is a friend of the sun as the tree is dependent on sunlight to carry out the process of photosynthesis to make its food similarly the tree is a friend of the sky it takes in carbon dioxide from the air and releases oxygen in the air and thus purifies the air also the transpiration from trees is responsible for cloud formation in the sky and thus rain the tree is again compared to a flag of free breeze like a flag flutters freely in the breeze the uh, uh, leaves of the tree flutter and provide soothing cool breeze to us the tree grows high with its long narrow stem and looks like a beautiful tower it appears that the trees have made a home closer to heaven the man plants a uh, plant the man plants a tree plants it for the mother bird who sings to her young ones happily with a soft and gentle voice in the twilight the bird's high pitched tone adds to the pleasant harmony of the universe second stanza what does he plant to plants a tree he plants cool shade and tender rain and seed and buds of days to be and ears that fade and flush again he plants the glory of the plain he plants the forest heritage the harvest of a coming age the joy that unborn eyes shall see these things he plants who plants a tree in the second stanza the poet asks the same question again perhaps he want to know suggest the more benefits of planting a tree the plant in a in course of time will grow tall and provide cool shade and cause tender rain it will bear seeds and buds for the future progeny after many years the old trees will wither away and the seeds will grow into new trees and into a dense forest since forests are our natural heritage the one who plants trees helps in conserving our natural heritage this is symbolic of the process of birth death region a uh, death and regeneration in this way trees make the plains beautiful the forest is inherited by the man who plants a tree it will provide crops to future generations surely the upcoming generations will reap all the de- benefits of the tree that are being planted now last stanza what does he plant to plant a tree he plants in sap and leaf and wood in love and home in love of home and loyalty and far cast thought of civic good his blessings on the neighborhood who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of our land a nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in the heart who plants a tree the poet asks the same question for the third time to create more interest in the readers but in the final stanza stanza he becomes more philosophical according to him the man who plants a tree plants a tree with a sense of loyalty he loves his family and the sent and the entire universe he is concerned about the future of the earth he plants a tree so that human beings can get ever can get food from the plants sap and leaves besides he can get wood for his use even the poet thinks about the future of society what will happen to the world without plants therefore the man who uses a tree has been described as god like as in indicated by the use of capital h in his line line number 24 by planting trees he shows the his blessings on neighborhood he holds the future progress of mankind in his hands our land will become barren without trees the poet becomes more anxious and could see that the growth of universe is possible only by planting trees thank you